Good afternoon, this is Jennifer from Cedar Ridge Farm, the farmhouse pantry. I wanted to come on today and show you all how uh, I'm going to make this bean soup recipe. Uh, it's made with bees, 15 uh, bean soup blend. This is the Cajun, it's probably backwards to you, but this is the Cajun blend. You can get these that has a ham seasoning packet or um, you can get them that has a Cajun seasoning packet. I got these at Walmart. I don't know if you can find them in your local grocery or not. I have not found these at Kroger. Our two main grocery stores here in my area are Walmart and Kroger. And we do have an IGA, a small one, but I don't know if... I've never looked there to see if they have these. But um, there are 15 different kinds of beans in this. And we really like this. I like the ones with the ham seasoning. But I, I think I like the Cajun seasoning better. And you know, sometimes when you hear Cajun, you think spicy, and they're really not. They're not, you know, they're not really spicy at all. Steve will not eat spicy stuff at all, but he does like these, so they're not bad. So you can feed them to your kids or your grandma, whoever. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to burn anybody's mouth with something extremely spicy. Unless, of course, you add spicy to it, and you can do that. But come along with me, and I'll show you how I'm going to make this. Okay, so over here, I have in my pot, I, I washed my beans really well. You've, you've really got to wash these beans well, just like you do any dried bean. They've all got dirt on them. They've got, they can have little pebbles in them, little rocks. So try to look through them and, uh, you know, rinse them three or four times. I just put mine through a, through a colander. You want to do, I'll show you mine. You want to do like a small grid colander because there are small beans in this. There's lentils, and let me try to get you over here so you can kind of see if it don't fog my camera up. Well, okay. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I put my beans on. I'm going to turn them down just a little bit now. I put probably, I'm going to say, a cup and a half of water in them just to get them started. And for seasoning meat in mine, I have three chunks of country ham. I fixed a whole on the bone country ham for Christmas. And what we didn't get eat, I pulled off the bone and just, I do this anytime I fix any kind of ham, whether it's country ham or a city ham, smoked ham, whatever. Um, I save the extra, I put it in the fridge for seasoning. You can put it in casseroles, whatever. But... So I threw some pieces of this ham in here, so I won't have to add any other meat if I don't want to. Uh, just for, you know, a little extra flavor in the beans. Normally, the last time I fixed these, i just done beans. I don't even think I put any meat in them. I think i just done the beans and the pocket, you know, the seasoning pocket that comes with it. So now I'm going to add in a 32-ounce box of chicken broth into my pot. Now these beans, you can put these in some water and soak them overnight, which will make a, a faster cooking process, just like any other dried bean. I don't normally do these because they do cook pretty quick. Um, I'm going to say within an hour, they're going to be pretty soft. They are. And I've got my broth in here. I'm not going to put any salt in this yet because there's obviously this is salt cured ham so it's going to put quite a bit of salt into the beans and then the seasoning mix uh it also has salt in it so i will wait until they're finished cooking and everything is in before i add any kind of salt at all and i'm actually not even going to add pepper at this point i am going to dice up um a sweet onion you could use any onion sweet onions just what i happen to have uh, I'm going to dice it up and throw it in here. And I also have a jar of diced tomatoes. I have a jar because these are my home canned tomatoes, but you could do a can. You could just do a can of diced tomatoes with the juice. Don't drain them. Leave the juice in there. That'll add extra flavor. 
these beans are pretty inexpensive i can't remember i've had them for a while i can't remember what i paid for them when i did see them in walmart the last time i did buy three or four bags just so i would have them because i tend to forget them and like i said the only place i can find them around here is walmart and i'm not a weekly walmart shopper I don't go in there all the time. Usually about the only time I go in there is if there is specific things that I can't get anywhere else. So if there are things that, you know, that I like to buy specifically in Walmart, I will try to buy extra when I go in. I think I will put the whole onion in because it'll cook up. It'll cook out pretty good, and you won't even be able to see that there's actually onion in it. I tell my grandson this all the time. He hates onions. I can't say as he's ever actually eaten an onion unless it's just been in something he didn't cook in something that he didn't know was there. But I tell him all the time, I'm like, you can't even tell these onions are in the food after it's cooked. Well, his little smart, you know, almost 13-year-old response is, well, if you can't tell they're there, then why do you even put them in there? So, yeah. But we will put the whole onion in. As soon as I get it chopped up here. It's a pretty day here in Kentucky. It's cool outside. We've had, I, I can't complain about our weather this winter. I can't. Here it is almost mid-February and... For the next several days, it, it don't look bad at all. Okay, I've got my onion in. Um, my tomatoes, I think I'm going to wait to add the tomatoes for a little bit. I'm just going to turn this down, and I'm going to let it cook a little, and I'm going to wait to add my seasoning packet. I just kind of want to get my onions in so they could go ahead and get cooked up pretty good along with the beans. But I will leave these on about medium to where they'll keep simmering along. I'll put a lid on them and let them sit there and just kind of simmer along this afternoon. I probably will fix some cornbread to go with them. Although, I'm going to tell you the last time I fixed these beans, I dipped up a little small bowl just to, you know, try to try a few of them and make sure. Because there is different beans in here and obviously... Different beans take different cook times, so I just wanted to try to, you know, sample a bite of everything that was in there to make sure that all of the, you know, different beans were done. And I sat down with that little bowl of beans, and I had to get up and get a second one. I'm not going to lie. They were that good, and I didn't have any cornbread or anything with them. It was just a bowl of beans. They were very good. So if you've never tried these 15 bean blends i really recommend them beans are so good for you they do have carbs in them but they're good carbs and they have fiber they're just really good for you very good for you and this blend here i'll try to see if i can read you some of what the beans are in them oh let's see it has northern pinto large lima yellow eye bean garbanzo baby lima green split pea kidney cranberry beans small white pink beans, small red, yellow split pea, lentil, navy, white kidney, and black beans. I didn't count. I'm assuming that's 15. It says 15. Those are all the beans that are in this. So, and there is actually a bean soup recipe on the back of the bag. And it pretty much looks like it's going to have about what I have in mind. I may add a little garlic to mine. This one here calls for garlic. And this one has... Mild or hot Italian sausage, Polish sausage, or ham. So I guess mine's pretty similar since I've got the ham in here. And actually, even with the ham, if you want, when when you know when it gets done, you can pull this chunk of ham out and dice it up so it kind of you know goes throughout the beans more. You could also just put some uh, raw bacon in here for seasoning. You could get get you some ham hocks, some. Uh, any anything that's seasoned, anything that's cured and seasoned, or you could just put plain old ham, you know, any kind of ham that you have in the fridge. Even if you've got some deli ham that needs used, dice it up and throw it in there. It'll put some flavor in it. 
But I'm going to put these on and let these cook for a little while. And I'll come back when they get uh, closer to being done when I go to add in my seasoning and my tomatoes. And I'll be back in a little bit to show you how it looks. Okay. We're probably about halfway through, I think. I've added in my seasoning packet. And I'm going to add in my jar of tomatoes. Stir them in a little bit. <laughs> Look at them yellow garden tomatoes. Aren't they pretty? Mmm. Makes me want garden tomatoes. Okay. So, here it is at this point. I've got my camera on a tripod, so I'm trying to maneuver this around. Ooh, look, there's a yellow tomato, orange tomatoes. Mm, don't they look so good? Okay, I've got all this in. I'm going to let it sit here and just keep simmering away for a little while longer until the beans get good and tender. Um, I don't know if I can stab one with this knife or not. Yeah, this is a small one, and it's still, it's still got a little ways to go. So we're going to let it sit here and cook, and I'll be back. Okay, looks like we're all done. Here's our, here's our beans. They're all done. I did add a little bit more salt to them. They did need some salt. And over here, that's too warm to touch. I baked a pan of cornbread. I was too lazy to fry cornbread, so I just threw a pan in the oven while my beans were cooking. And we are probably we're about two hours is about what it took to cook up this pot of beans. The ham has started falling apart in here. So, and you could take a fork and break it up some more. Or you can pull it out and lay it on a plate and cut it up like that. But yeah, that's it. We've got our pot of beans and our cornbread here for supper. We've got some leftover hibachi chicken I'm going to heat up for Steve. And I'll probably just have a bowl of beans with a little bit of cornbread. And that's what we've got. So get out there and find you some good soup beans to cook. And it's good warm comfort food to fill your belly. And it's good and healthy for you. And give this a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for coming to watch. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, and share them on your social media. Share them with your family and friends. And come back and see us. God bless.